You are about to discover 24 amazing habits of highly successful people. Hi everyone, Robert Zink, Miracle Mentor and Alchemy Life Coach. And today we are soaring high, like a big, beautiful eagle flying in the direction of your dreams and your goals. So the reason I'm sharing with you these 24 amazing habits of highly successful people is so that you can adopt a few of them. You know, the more of these habits that you adopt on a daily basis, the more certain you're going to have the money you desire, the love you crave and the health and happiness that you absolutely depend on. So number one on my list is this is your journey. This is your journey. And so if it is your journey, only you can take responsibility for it. That's what highly successful people do. They take responsibility for how they feel, how they think, how they act, what they do, what they don't do. Take responsibility in your life for everything that you're attracting in your life. And immediately you're going to notice a huge shift in your life. You're going to notice a huge shift. And that means more abundance and prosperity flowing easily into your life. Highly successful people set clear intentions. They have a very, very clear and concise idea of what it is, not what it is that they want to manifest, but what it is that they will manifest. You see the difference? They don't live in the world of want. They live in the world of I am, I am manifesting this. This is now coming into my life. I am now creating this. And like setting clear intentions, highly successful people set daily micro goals. What are your goals today? Do you have five micro goals listed out that you are going to accomplish this day or three highly successful people do. And here's the difference. Here's the difference between highly successful people and ordinary people, highly successful people get it done. They accomplish exactly what they set out to do on any given day. High flyers. Number four is prayer and meditation. Highly successful people. They don't just pray. You know, we're going through some very difficult times right now and people are praying more and people are asking for prayer. I know I've just last night, just last night, I prayed for two different people that asked for prayer. I don't know these people, but I prayed for them. I made it my intention that health is theirs. So prayer and meditation is something that highly successful people, they don't just do it when things are bad. They do it when things are good. They're praying and meditating, taking that time out to center with source energy every single day. They're connecting with who they are, what they're about, their purpose in life. And so that's very, very important. Well, highly successful people focus on positive, healthy eating habits. They eat a green based diet. That doesn't mean that you can't have some fish or some meat from time to time, but you want to eat clean, highly successful people take control of their destiny. And part of your destiny is right here. It's your body. If you don't have a body to operate out of or a body that will help you accomplish and do the things that you want to do every day, you, it's kind of useless, right? So taking care of your body is essential. And that's what highly successful people do. They eat a clean diet. High flyers hang in there with me because we have some surprising habits that highly successful people do on a regular basis coming up. Number six is highly successful people focus on exercise. They have a daily exercise routine or at least a weekly and they do resistance training, stretching, cardio work. They exercise their body. They work to make their body stronger and more limber. You know, so the average person 
complains about the world. They complain about everything and they're emotionally all over the place. Highly successful people master their thoughts first, because when you master what you think, you master what you feel. When you master what you feel, you master what you manifest. You know, highly successful people, they keep their word. Their word is gold. You ever heard the term good as gold? That's the word of a highly successful individual. If you're around one of these high achievers, you know, when they say something, that's all you need to know. That is all you need to know. You can trust it. You can take it to the bank. And one of the things that I, that I really admire about highly successful people is that they are consistent every day. They have a consistent routine. They have an outline. They have a direction of what they're doing that, you know, they're not doing all this stuff one day and all that stuff the next day. And I don't know what I'm doing this day. And I'm not sure about that. No, they're consistent. Be consistent to be successful. Well, high flyers. One of the things that I've noticed about highly successful people is that they face fear head on. It doesn't mean that they're not afraid at times. It doesn't mean that they're not concerned, but if they have a challenge, they will take it head on. And if they feel within, within their energy field, the fear of failure, they will go right through that because they understand that the fear of failure is failure itself to give in. In other words, it's okay to have the fear, but to give into the fear of failure, it's failure itself. Why don't you share with me below here how you are so determined to achieve your goals, no matter what the resistance, no matter what the fear that you are going to manifest everything you desire because it's already present in your life and that you are surrendering this whole idea of fear that you are not giving into it in any way, shape or form. I'd like to read your comments. Hi flyers. Over the years, I've had the privilege of working with very successful people in a number of different industries and professions. And one of the things I've noticed is that successful people are very grateful. They're grateful for their clients and their customers as I am. They're grateful for their family and the people that love them and support them as I do. I deeply am grateful for Rachel and you know, I'm grateful for Julian too. I mean, yeah, Julian requires a little extra maintenance, a little extra work, you know, especially being almost three, but I'm absolutely grateful for him. I'm grateful for our home. I'm grateful for our family. I'm grateful for Rachel's family. I'm grateful for a number of things. And the more things that you can be grateful for, you know, the sun, the stars, the moon, the sky, the people in your life. Yesterday was the anniversary of my mother passing away. And, um, uh, I thought about, I have a picture of here of her in my, on my wall. And as I walked by it today, I, I thought how grateful I am to have had her in my life, to influence my life. I certainly would have wished to have her longer, but I am grateful for the time I did have. So be grateful because that is one of the biggest tools to attracting the life you absolutely desire, crave and deserve. Number 12 is what Stephen Covey, the late Stephen Covey used to call sharpen the saw. And that is you've got to sharpen that saw before you go out there and cut wood. And so you've got to do everything you can to raise yourself to your highest potential. By doing that, you have the greatest opportunity of success. But if you are lazy, if you're not working out, if you're not eating clean, if you're not studying, if you're not doing what is necessary, doing what successful people do, then you're going to go out to the forest with a rusty saw and you're not going to make very much progress. Sharpen the saw. Successful people do it daily. Highly successful people. Guess what they do? 
They study the law of attraction on a regular basis, almost daily. Even if it's 20 minutes a day, they listen to an audio program. They watch a video. Yeah. They read a book. They do something that increases their commitment to the fact that they are responsible for manifesting everything in their reality. Are you responsible? The more you study, and the more you understand the law of, re, uh, of attraction, I almost said the law of reaction that could have been good too, but the law of attraction, the, the more you will be attracting what you deeply desire and crave successful people study the law of attraction. You know, high flyers as, uh, the ancients used to walk into the mystery temple back in ancient Egypt places like that. They, uh, they had a sign over the temple as you walked in and it said, know thyself. You see the whole idea of the sacred mysteries is to really know who you are. Who are you? Where did you come from? Why are you here? What is your purpose? Where are you going? Know yourself, know your strengths, know your limitations. And if you have limitations, challenge them, know yourself, highly successful people know exactly who they are. And I like this one. This is really, really special. Build a soul family, build a family of maybe you're not blood related or genetically related, but you have a deep bond, a deep connection to love each other, to help each other, to care for each other, to trust each other, to be by each other's side when necessary, build a soul family. And as your soul family expands, as it grows, your influence, your ability to attract more of what you desire grows as well. You also have people that will support you and stand by you and your dreams when times are tough. Well, number 17 is specific knowledge. You see highly successful people, they are focused not just on learning a little bit about everything. They used to call that a Jack of all trades, master of none, find what it is that you are focused on and become the most knowledgeable person on that subject, learn it inside it out and then apply it to make more money, to leverage your money, to build better relationships, to have better health, to serve people, whatever it is that's important to you, but develop specific knowledge. Number 18 is that highly successful people are proactive. I mean, these people don't sit on their ass all day. They are doing things. They are moving. They have plans. They have dreams and they're not just dreaming. They're taking action on their dreams. They are creators. They get up, they take action. They take movement. They have faith. They have trust in what they are doing and they go forward in the direction of their dreams and their goals. Number 19, highly successful people make decisions quickly, quickly, and they change their minds slowly. You see, the reason for this is, is that highly successful people know exactly what they desire to manifest. They know what they want. And so they, when an opportunity comes up, when a situation comes up, they don't need a week, a day, an hour to think about it. They know exactly what they want and they either make a decision to move forward or they don't. It's as simple as that. Highly successful people make decisions quickly. So high flyers at the end of this video, we have other suggested videos that will help you increase your potential, increase your success and your law of attraction action as we like to call it. So be sure and hang in there. Clear, concise communication. That's number 20. You see, you won't get double talk from highly successful people. They know exactly what they desire. They want to find out what you desire and they will speak to you clearly and concisely. Clear communication is a positive trait of highly successful people. Also number 21, they're good listeners. Would you say they're good listeners. They listen 
to the people they talk to because they really deeply want to hear what other people have to say. And they, they want to learn from other people as well. And that's a positive, a powerful trait to help you manifest the life that you desire. Highly successful people respect other people's beliefs, other people's dreams and other people's goals. They never put down somebody else's dreams and goals. That's very important. They don't like it when people try to infringe on their dreams and goals. And so they always encourage people to go for it, to put everything they have into achieving their own dreams and their own goals. Number 23 is they practice the law of reciprocity by giving they receive. You will find that highly successful people love to give. One of the reasons that they like to make a lot of money is so that they can give more of it away. It's, it's just an amazing trait that these people, these successful people love giving away money, love helping people, love doing good. And of course, more comes back to them as well. And finally, number 24, High Flyers, this deals with developing a deeper, more profound connection with source energy, with God, understanding that you are a co-creator of your reality, that you are here for a purpose, that your life has meaning. And so taking time out every day to connect with God, the creative life force of the energy, source energy, the universe, whatever you want to call it, developing that wonderful communicative relationship and allowing the God force energy to flow through your life so that you manifest exactly what you desire and you deserve. Now, Hey, listen, I've got some more videos for you. Be sure and check them out because these are powerful.